Hi guys, Steve here with Creative Connors. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at our smart chain hoist. If you haven't seen it yet, check out our earlier two minute intro video. I'll post a link up here. If you're not familiar with automation or maybe just not familiar with Creative Connors, I'll show you how to add programmable positioning with crazy good accuracy to the venerable chain hoist with our automation controls. If on the other hand, you're already a customer, first, thanks. Second, I'll show you how you can augment your automation arsenal with smart chain hoists. Let's talk through the different components that make up a complete automation system. Starting with the hoist itself, our smart chain hoist is the only machine in our catalog that we don't actually make. Instead, we partnered with CM to produce a hoist that has all the internal components to make it compatible with our stagehand controller and SpikeMark software. Everyone knows and loves CM hoists. The Lodestar is ubiquitous. You'll find it used in arenas and theaters across the US. So we thought it would be a great machine to pair with our controls. The Smart Chain Hoist comes in three flavors to cover a range of lifting capacities and speeds. Each model is driven with a 3.5 horsepower AC induction motor. The half-ton model has a maximum speed of 100 feet per minute, or 20 inches per second. This is fast for a chain hoist, if you're accustomed to fixed speed hoists that run at 16 or 32 feet per minute. The one-ton model maxes out at 60 feet per minute, or 12 inches per second. The two-ton model is a double-reeved one-ton. It cuts the speed in half, down to 30 feet per minute, or 6 inches per second. Our favorite model is the half ton because of its quick speed. When using these hoists for automated moves during a performance, that quick speed is vital. Like Mike mentioned in our intro video, each hoist is equipped with dual brakes for redundancy, as you'd expect. There is one encoder on the motor for precise speed control. This gets us full torque at zero speed, which is crucial for variable speed programming. With that sensor, the controller can release both brakes and use the motor to hold the load steady. There is a second encoder installed near the limit switches used for positioning during cues. This encoder is physically attached to the same shaft as the chain wheel that is pulling up the load. That sensor is guaranteed to know exactly where the hook is all the time. Speaking of limits, the machine has four limit switches, initial forward and reverse limits, and a second pair known as ultimate limits. This is for redundancy. If one switch fails, there is a backup to stop the load before it damages anything. If you think of the hoist as the muscle, then the brain of the smart chain hoist is our Stagehand Pro controller. The Stagehand Pro is responsible for controlling the speed and position of the hoist. You can use any generation of Stagehand Pro, the original Pro 1, the Pro 2, or the current Pro 3. The Stagehand Pro 3 is modular and rackable. You can use one or dozens networked together, popping them into 19 inch racks for portability. Though today we're focusing on the smart chain hoist, this controller can be used with a bunch of different machines. Our push stick deck winch, spotline hoist, revolver turntable machine, and floor pocket lift can all run on the Stagehand Pro 3. To be clear, you do need one Stagehand Pro for each hoist in your rig. So if you have two hoists, you'll need two Stagehand Pros. And if you wanna buy 30 hoists, thanks. And you'll need to buy 30 Stagehand Pros. Our emergency stop is the Showstopper 3. Each Showstopper 3 starts with a base unit that can monitor eight stagehand controllers. You can connect more than eight stagehand controllers by using Showstopper hubs. There are a few different operator stations that you can plug into the Showstopper 3, and each one has a different strength. The SpikeMark Pendant is a handheld remote, kind of like an ARFU in a lighting system. It's powered by the Showstopper 3 and includes an e-stop button, but it also plugs into the network, giving you the ability to grab any number of hoists and move them manually. It has a touch screen for selecting hoists and adjusting parameters, and the choice of a joystick or jog dial for speed control. The screen gives you a bunch of real-time information, such as position, speed, and fault status. The pendant is great for moving machines while you're walking around on stage. While the pendant is made for walking around, the consolette works best when sitting at your automation computer. Its features are tailored to running shows. It has big backlit buttons to run cues and a small OLED character display that shows what cues are running. It also has a joystick and dial like the pendant for manually running a motor or groups of motors. The last accessory to talk about is the Showstopper 3 remote. 
This guy is a simple little box with an e-stop button and a couple of indicator lights. It's handy to string these around the performance venue so if any crew member sees something dangerous, they can hit the button and stop all motion. If the smart chain hoists are the muscle of your rig, and the Stagehand Pro is the brain, then Spike Mark is the heart? I don't know, the analogy might be falling apart. Anyway, Spike Mark is our free automation software that lets you program automation cues. It's super easy to set up and configure, but still impressively powerful. It has a 3D viewer, simulation mode, intuitive cue grid, and runs on just about any Windows PC. It uses standard Ethernet hardware as its communications backbone. You can run small, simple shows or complex shows with dozens of machines. With the Groups feature, you can synchronize multiple hoists connected to a single object, like a truss grid or a full-stage LED screen. And it's free, so grab a copy from our website and play around with the included simulator module. So that's a tour of all the components that go into an automated system, but why would you want to take a perfectly good, tried and true machine like chain hoists and automate them? Well, if you're new to automation, you'll be impressed with the positioning. The accuracy you can get with an automation system is so much better than what you're used to seeing with a pickle. You can get down to about 1 32nd of an inch repeatable accuracy. Also, speed and acceleration are programmable, so you can program something to move super fast or creep super slow. Every motion can be stored as cues in the software and then played back for repeatable sequences. Using software grouping, you can get very precise synchronization between multiple hoists. Movement can be synchronized with projection, so images are pinned onto moving set pieces. The motion information can also be streamed over the network to lighting or sound control systems for precise synchronization of all aspects of the show, creating some powerful visual effects on stage. If you're already a fan of Spike Mark and Stagehand Control, you know all that stuff. With smart chain hoists, you can add powerful, flexible hoists to your automation system. Everyone knows and loves chain hoists, and these have all the good stuff you expect, but they're even better. These hoists are faster and quieter than typical fixed speed hoists. Plus, you can integrate smart chain hoists with all your other machines, so your hoist moves can be synced with your turntable and deck winch. All the motion on stage can be programmed through one interface. And if you use the pendant, the hoists are pretty handy during load-in, too. Having a variable speed joystick is fantastic. No more, give me a bump in, half a bump in, too far, bump out. Instead, you can creep the hoists in with insanely precise control of both speed and position. All right, this all sounds great, right? How do you install some smart chain hoists? How is it different than installing normal fixed speed hoists? Let's dig into it. First, you spot points just like you normally would but you really wanna hang these guys motor up since they weigh where roughly 180 pounds with all their lift chain. You'll want some mechanical help getting the smart chain hoists into position. We often use a little Pro Star or a block and fall or a cradle on a scissor or boom lift to get the hoist up into position. You can ring the motor down, but they run louder and shake at high speed when the hoist climbs up the chain. So it's really best to hang the motor up. Run a Pro motor and signal cable to the hoist. Plug in the hoist with the locking connectors. At the other end, plug the motor and signal cable into the Stagehand Pro. Make the showstopper and network connections as well. Then flip on the breaker on the front of the Stagehand Pro to power up. Release the emergency stop. Now you can jog the hoist manually with the buttons and knob on the front of the Stagehand Pro. This is a great way to verify that the hoist is working properly and an easy way to move the hook in and out during load-in before the SpikeMark computer is set up and running. Next, let's get SpikeMark set up to take full advantage of the automation system. Open up SpikeMark, which will start a new show file, drag and drop from the machine library to add all your hoists to the show. Set the IP address in SpikeMark to match each stagehand's unique address and hit connect. If your hoists are lifting a single object, drop them into a spike mark group. This ensures that if any hoist has a problem when moving, all the hoists will stop so they don't damage the structure being hoisted. In our example here, we're lifting a rectangular truss with four hoists, so we'll group them together. Plug the pendant into the Showstopper 3 base and the network switch. Now we're ready to move. Using the joystick on the pendant, you can move the entire group of hoists manually. 
As the rig is moving, you get real-time feedback showing the position of each motor in the group. You can also easily isolate a single motor in the group and run it individually. In addition to the joystick, you send the motor to a specific position, or what we call a spike. Here you can see we're running the motor to a few different spikes named max out, high, mid, low, and max in. Those spikes can be easily created in SpikeMark and can be used or edited with the pendant. When you're ready to start writing cues, that's done in SpikeMark. You can add a group to the cue by clicking on the plus button, just like you would with a single motor. For simple moves, where you want all of the hoists to travel to the same target position, you can use the handy copy to group feature that will take the movement parameters you entered for one hoist and propagate them to the rest of the hoists in the group. Then all the motors will travel at the same rate, keeping the truss level. Groups don't dictate that all the motors have to travel to the same position in a queue. In fact, much of the time you don't want them all to go to the same place. Instead, you might want to program only the downstage hoists to move, effectively tipping the truss up as if the upstage edge was on a hinge, like you can see here. You can get fancy by programming each smart chain hoist to lift to different heights at different times, creating a rolling effect as if the truss was gimbaled in the center. Q-Links can automatically fire a series of cues making pretty cool motion, as you can see. To get even fancier, SpikeMark can send the position information of any machine to a video system and map images onto moving scenery. We didn't set that up on our small truss rig, but here are a few clips showing the effect. As you watch, keep in mind that this synchronization is all happening real time between SpikeMark and a media server like Disguise or WatchOut or even QLab. The media server is listening for position data from SpikeMark and then moving the image around to keep the content pinned onto the scenery. It's a pretty cool effect. SpikeMark can speak a few different protocols. Dataton Watchout, Pause the Stage Gen, or PSN, and Open Sound Protocol, or OSC. OSC is commonly used to integrate with lighting and sound systems. All right, that wraps up our look at Creative Connor's Smart Chain Hoist. To recap, Smart Chain Hoists are simple to set up and use. The modular design of our hoists and stagehand controllers make it easy to create an automated rig of any size. And the SpikeMark software lets you achieve visually stunning, intricate motion to punch up your next production. Lastly, these hoists and complete control systems are available for purchase or rental. Check out creativeconnors.com for pricing or give us a call. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.